Getting organized and staying organized is no small task when information is coming at you from all directions. But an engineering notebook is a tool that can help consolidate information and document the development of your ideas. No more searching for that sticky note or piece of paper where you jotted down that gem of content. No more trying to remember that site where you found valuable research. Everything you need is one place for easy reference. And because your ideas are valuable, you need to record them to ensure that you protect your work. The concept of an engineering notebook goes as far back as Leonardo da Vinci, so it's not new. It's a time-tested method and in some instances can serve as a legal document that can help protect your intellectual property by showing the date and depth of the invention. And keeping a record of inventions contemporaneously with the invention, whether in paper or digital form, is always a very good practice. Here are a few tips and tricks to using an engineering notebook. First, each student should keep their own notebook. Pages should be numbered. Some find it useful to have a notebook that has Cartesian coordinate graph paper for technical drawings and sketches. Note that many engineers prefer a bound notebook with a stitch binding and avoid spiral notebooks because pages can tear out easily. All ideas, information, sketches, experiments, and other content fully documented, signed, and dated each day. Document things like where you went, contacts you have made, what you observed or learned. Keep track of all the questions you have that need answers. For note-taking, there are options. Outlining and visual notes are fast, but the Cornell note system can be more helpful in the long run. Major topics are in the left column, and then the right column is used for explanations or notes on the topic. If you make an error or discover a mistake in your thinking, do not try to erase it or use correction fluid. Simply put a single line through it and date it. You can add a note that says where the corrected information can be found. If you have digital content, add it to the bound notebook. Print it, trim it to the correct size, sign and then tape it inside the book, making sure that it's permanently affixed. It's a good idea to reserve some pages at the end of the book for vocabulary, so it's in one spot. With a digital notebook, vocabulary can be easily accessed in a variety of ways. Finally, for complex projects, you may need more than one notebook. Continue to document and date all content.